Hey everybody, it's Adam with Code Karate. Yep, the new guy on the team. Uh, today we are going to be covering the Add This module for the Daily Dose of Drupal. Um, the Add This module is a kind of a cool little module that allows you to um, share content or allow your, excuse me, your audience to share your content kind of across the way. Um, really simple and easy way to do that. Um, as always, um, you can follow follow both of us, but you can follow me specifically at Adam Laring on Twitter. Otherwise, if you still want, you can follow Shane at smthomas3. In addition to that, we'd also like to point you to the Code Karate newsletter um, at codekarate.com. Um, go ahead and sign up there. I mean, you get um, definitely updates on content, new stuff going on with Drupal, as well as tips and tricks we've kind of thought of over the over our four or five years doing Drupal. So sign up there. All right, so back to the module. So add this module. Um, again, just a social sharing service. Uh, makes it pretty simple and easy. Um, one note, make sure the, this video is following the 7.4 um, development release. They don't have a um, stable release for Drupal 7 yet, but this 7.4 seems to work pretty well, so you can go ahead and use that one. All right, so the first step when you're um, configuring this module is to go to the modules page and just turn it on. So we're going to just enable both the uh, modules here, add this and add this displays. Once you get it turned on here, you can... Um, go down and configure the add this. Um, there's a couple different or a ton of stuff going on in here. Um, the most important things are your profile ID. You are required to have an account with um, add this. So you can either head over to addthis.com and create an account. I already have, but once you do, you can go under your profiles um, tab and grab your profile ID, which is what links your add this account to your Drupal site. So copy that and just paste that in the um, text box there. And then the only other one that's really important and all this said is the clickback. And clickback, what that does, guys, is that allows um, add this to track um, the people who share and how viral their shares go. So basically it says um, how many people their share acquire to your site. Really powerful analytic tool there. Um, one other kind of important thing we're not covering, but is you can link this into your Google Analytics by just having um, the Google Analytics module installed on your site and then checking those boxes. Kind of a cool little thing there. Um, the rest of the box, the rest of the stuff I'm not going to cover in this tutorial because I want to get to um, one other thing with add this. So um, play around with it. Nothing else is really important though to the module. So once you get it saved, um, you can then add the add this as a field on a content type or you can add it as a block. Um, I'm going to add it as a on the content type. So let's say we have a content type, a basic page here. I mean, we want to um, add a follow buttons on the bottom of all our pages. So we would just add the add this field type there, keeping it button, and then clicking save. And once you click save, you can go back to the content type, and you have to configure one more thing. So you just go to, oops, wrong button there, manage fields. And then, nope, I was wrong. Manage displays under the format. Click either the button or the toolbox. Typically, I click the toolbox that um, allows uh, multiple buttons to appear. And then you see here you have your different services that you can link in. Um, right now, it's Facebook and Twitter. Um, they're just comma separated. Um, you can add a bunch of different um, variables and anything you want into that. We're going to keep that default for now. Um, we can make the buttons bigger. Um, Select the orientation, but for now we'll keep it big, 32, horizontal. So Facebook and Twitter will show up. So then if I create a piece of content, and you just save it, and you'll see here now that I have add this um, ability on the bottom of my content type, or my page in this example. So then obviously if I'm a user and I go to this page, I can click on the Facebook button and then it obviously pulls in the node title and then as well as the site name and then you make it easy for people to share your content across um, different social networks. Again, this is a quick example just showing Facebook and Twitter, but you can extend that out to your favorite social networking sites, whether it's YouTube, Google+, um, whatever it be. So anyway, that's the quick and dirty um, add this module. Like I said, you can also add it as a block. So if you go into blocks, you'll see that there'll be an add this block available um, right here. So you could put that in as well. Um, and then that would just um, show up. 
Um, oops, I didn't configure it yet, but that would show up in the footer if you configured it, um, similar to how you configured this. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward there. Um, one other thing that I wanted to show you is this might be one of those cases where the module isn't exactly the best service to use. And what I mean by that is um, add this has all, some coolest features built right in um, via some JavaScript. So again, just I'm um, hopped over here to the add this site. So once you get your account created, um, you literally can hover over this get code button. And I just clicked on the smart layers tab. And as you see here, um, there's a couple different things going on. They have four different sections that dynamically um, overlay on your website by just injecting some JavaScript. Um, obviously you have your follow buttons in the top corner, share buttons appended to the left side, um, what's next or recommended articles um, that they use, as well as um, what else would the customer might like appends at the bottom of your site. Um, really kind of cool. You can easily turn these on and off, of course, if you, whatever ones you want. Um, you can also decide which services you'd like to have followed versus shared. Um, all that kind of stuff is available here as well. Um, so you can obviously put your information in. But once you finally select it, all you have to do is click generate code and it pops up some uh, JavaScript that you need to put onto your site. So all you need to do is copy this and then all you do is you hop over to your um, html.php page on your site Again, if you need more direction on how to get to an HTML page, um, you should look at Zen and Zen Sub Themes. Um, they make it pretty easy to um, grab an HTML page. But once you do, all you need to do is paste the code um, in your um, head of your document. So, oh, actually, sorry. Well, you can paste it in the head of your document. That would work. But if you wanted to load after all the um, body tags have loaded, which typically is a benefit because the uh, service um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to load. You can put it right at the bottom of your um, body element. So that's what we did here. So you see add this is here, uh, pasting it in. And to give you an example of what that looks like on the other end, um, you can just go over to codekarate.com and you'll see it in action there. So we have it working right here. So here's the um, share buttons. Up in the type corner are follow buttons. Um, and then Right there's a recommended for you section. So you can click that and that actually will take you to our page there. Which is kind of nifty. And then, um, this isn't the right page, but eventually there'd be recommended articles at the bottom too of your article. So we're using all four services here. There it is. Um, so you may also see these and then they link off to other pages. So anyway, it's just a nice, easy, simple uh, way to drop in content and help people navigate around to other cool uh, articles and content on your site. So again, um, I just want to reiterate, I, in my personal opinion, I would probably forego using the Add This module, but if you want to, it's there. Um, it's nice and easy. But what I would do is I would just go over to addthis.com, create an account, um, get the smart layers section loaded, um, configure it however you wanted as far as what sections you want, but then um, just drop the code in um, your HTML file, um, either in your body element or again, you can put it in the head element um, where, uh, where all your other script tags are probably located. Uh, all right, guys. Well, um, this was my first video with uh, Code Karate, so more to come. Uh, appreciate any comments you have or anything like that. Otherwise, um, stay tuned and we will uh, have more to come. Thanks, guys. Bye.